folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Deathstroke action figure set by Mattel. This is figure number 6 from the All-Star Wave of DC Universe Classics, and based on the packaging design here, was probably released along with uh, Wave 16, so this uh, particular figure set was first released late 2010, early 2011. Now, I can't remember where I purchased this particular uh, Deathstroke set because uh, I had purchased multiple Deathstroke figures. Uh, it either uh, came from Target or Toys R Us and I ended up paying about $15, $16 for the set. Taking a look at the figure here in the package, you can see Deathstroke who was originally released as part of Wave 3 of DC Universe Classics and uh, the All-Star Way focuses on previously released figures and we have Deathstroke here with uh, surprisingly all of the items that uh, came with the figure uh, in the original release in Wave 3 uh, minus the uh, Collect and Connect piece. Uh, instead you have the display base down below. Taking a look here at the back of the package you can see here a biography of Deathstroke and uh, we have some statistics for him with a nice picture of the figure there and over here we have other figures from the all-star wave we have Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Martian Manhunter, The Flash Deathstroke and The Joker and uh, as of this video I've seen every figure in the All-Star Wave except for Wonder Woman. Now we'll be right back and have Deathstroke here out of the package. Alright, we're back and we have Deathstroke out of the package and in the All-Star Wave the figure set is known simply as Deathstroke unlike the original release from Wave 3 where the figure set was known as Deathstroke the Terminator. Now the figure set is essentially the same. Uh, except for some few minor differences and we'll go into that in a little bit but first of all we'll take a look at the accessories that come with the figure and there's a lot of accessories this figure is a walking arsenal of <laughs> accessories and uh, we'll get started uh, with this here uh, which is a display base uh, that comes included with all figures from the all-star wave instead of the collect and connect uh, pieces which came included with the original release of the figures and it's made of a clear blue plastic and has a single peg here where you can place uh, one of the feet of the figure onto the base and pretty cool that they included this next thing we'll take a look at is the staff that comes included with the figure and uh, it's painted silver to simulate I guess a metal staff and you can see some sculpting design on it uh, on both ends and also I guess maybe the grip handles here uh, pretty cool and you can actually uh, mount this uh, onto the back of the bandolier uh, type uh, thingamabob here on the figure there's two clasps on there uh, that you can attach the staff onto next uh, we'll take a look at this uh, assault rifle which is uh, pretty cool and uh, it's uh, painted in uh, some silver accents here um, from black molded plastic there and you can see a scope on here uh, you can see the ammunition cartridge and the I guess sling uh, strap here which is actually hooked into place so you can actually remove uh, this strap if you wanted to but I don't plan to uh, the rifle itself is made of a very soft plastic very soft at the shoulder stock here as you can see it's very uh, bendable and really prone to warping there as well as the scope which is made of a softer uh, material here but the the base of the rifle here is made of a thicker plastic and, and the ammunition cartridge is also made of a softer plastic so combination of soft and uh, medium uh, grade plastic there. Yeah, pretty interesting. 
And uh, the next uh, accessory that uh, comes included with Deathstroke is the sword. And it's in the scabbard here. Let me just pull the sword out here. And uh, you can see here it's a nicely detailed sword, especially at the hilt there. It's got some nice sculpting detail. And then you have a, a blade here uh, made of uh, simple plastic, uh, also bendable, uh, but not as soft as the assault rifle. And mine kind of came uh, a little bit bent on there in the package. And uh, also some uh, little nicks in the paint, uh, on the silver paint uh, on the blade. So, uh, very cool uh, on the blade here. And the final, ex well, not really final accessory, uh, maybe the second to final accessory is the pistol that is stored in the uh, holster there. And it's a typical, I guess, pistol here. Uh, nothing too outstanding about it. It does have some silver accent paint on the uh, gun here uh, on both sides and it does fit in the pistol very well uh, I mean in the holster I'm sorry in the holster uh, whoops fairly well locate the gun there and there is a, a holster uh, strap there that you can actually secure into place now the last accessory is the bandolier or ammo bandolier here you can see uh, going across uh, Deathstroke's uh, chest there and you can actually remove it and well, it's not really uh, attached or anything it just sits simply sits on the figure and uh, you can get it off the figure here if you raise uh, the arm here and let's go ahead and uh, take that off and you can see here uh, what looks like uh, ammunition cartridges on there it's just wrapped around in a belt like fashion and I think you can actually detach the belt via a uh, peg or peggle it looks like or maybe just glued I haven't even tried to actually taking that off and I don't want to since it's easily uh, can be easily placed on the figure just simply going around the arm and through the chest so I have no need to actually uh, remove this peg or whatever it is that's fastened onto there and also you can see the clasps for the uh, the staff here unfortunately uh, mine's bent in both ends of the clasps one uh, bent inwards one bent outwards so uh, you can simply place the staff onto there and it'll sit there although it's loose on one end uh, be due to the, the warpage on there but that's okay it does it still sits securely on there so it's not too big a deal on there now taking a look at the Deathstroke figure and it's actually a decent figure I really do dig it and uh, I do have the original release uh, wave 3 which was the standard uh, release uh, right here uh, with the masked head and there is a variant from the original release which is the unmasked version of Deathstroke the Terminator uh, and that one was actually uh, I, I guess more readily available than the standard version back then and it's kinda cool now that the all-star wave has uh, the masked version uh, which is a uh, more uh, readily accessible uh, for uh, purchase but uh, taking a look at Deathstroke here, you can see that he has a mask. Uh, it's cast in two colors there, uh, one in orange and one in dark bluish gray. And it, uh, it is uh, pretty cool with the sculpt. You can see uh, where the eye, nose, and uh, mouth are sculpted to, to very vaguely to make it look like uh, he is wearing a mask, which is really cool. And uh, you have the paint application on the left eye there, which is uh, done very well. And uh, no bleed or anything like that, so it's not off-centered or anything. So it's perfectly applied, which is really nice on there. In the back of the head, you have the tassel here of uh, red and, uh, I guess, bluish gray there. Uh, looks like I got some uh, excess paint uh, rub from the uh, ammo bandolier on there uh, it looks like some silver paint there unfortunately uh, this tassel area is not uh, rotatable it's actually glued to the back of his head so that's the only position where this tassel uh, uh, really is uh, positioned uh, you can't really move it around too much and uh, taking a look 
at the rest of the figure it's actually quite cool you can see uh, the shoulder armor here some sculpting of uh, a strap on the shoulder there and uh, the nice uh, blue scale mail armor on here on his arm and on his torso area very cool and you got some accents uh, on the arm here an armband and then you have the uh, buccaneer type of gloves and boots on there and painted in, or cast in orange I should say which is uh, fairly neat now uh, this guy does have a, a lot of weaponry and accessories and you can see also here the scabbard for the sword and you can see uh, some leather straps uh, which uh, are sculpted in it's not actually a, a separate piece it's just a part of the mold there but it's still uh, quite nice you can see some of the texture on the straps wrapping around the scabbard there and that's glued into place and you can uh, see that's glued into a, a part of his uh, ammunition belt I guess you can call it it's got pouches on there very cool a belt buckle there and of course the holster for the pistol which is also glued to this uh, middle section there very neat and you can see some of the texture on the holster there uh, and the holster is actually a little bit uh, duller orange than uh, the paint here almost a brownish color very light brown uh, dull orange color on there and you can actually see the where you can secure the holster in the place or secure the pistol in the place in the holster and just uh, pegged in right there and then you have some sculpted leg uh, guards or bands on there with some painted silver on there very cool and it's uh, right above the articulation joint so that's kind of nice and again uh, the swashbuckler type of uh, boots here very cool now uh, like I said earlier this figure is essentially the same as the wave 3 figure I think the feet is the are the only thing uh, only uh, pieces of the figure that are actually different from the original release because I believe the uh, older figures had uh, that bit of ankle swivel and uh, this particular figure does not so I think that's the only thing different uh, from the original Deathstroke figure now going over the articulation the head does go all the way around and does go up and down um, downward movement uh, more than the upward movement there and side to side uh, the arms do go all the way around and they do go out and in they go all the way around at the bicep single joint at the elbow and a uh, single joint at the wrist the torso can go down up and back uh, quite a uh, range of motion there a little loose on this particular figure the waist can go all the way around the f uh, legs can go up, down, uh, and back, and out to the side. And the uh, thighs can go all the way around. And the knees can bend in and out. Uh, no uh, rotation at the top of the boot. That would have been nice if, it, if there was uh, some rotation. And the feet uh, can bend up and down at the ankle. Overall, it's a great figure, a lot of detail into the sculpt, and uh, a lot of accessories that come with this figure. And it's just a great character overall, uh, especially if you're a Teen Titans uh, fan, or a Batman fan, or uh, uh, just a Deathstroke fan. Uh, just a really uh, cool figure to have. And uh, this is my casual peek into the All-Star Wave Deathstroke uh, action figure set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.